So last time we saw how we add vectors graphically. Now it's time to look at how we add vector components. And luckily, it's just as easy. Okay. Um, so again, let's say we have some vector a, where a is equal to a little a, b, c, and then some vector b, where b is equal to q, r, s. And I want to find out what's a plus b. Well, that's just a plus q b plus r, c plus s. Okay, that's all there is to it. So I add up the all of the um, components um, that are in the same direction um, together, and that's my new vector. Okay? Um, so for example, if we look at, uh, if we look at the example from last time, right, where we had this vector r, uh, and we said that it was, you know, we went three kilometers north um, and five kilometers east, seven kilometers north, um, four kilometers west, two kilometers south, and nine kilometers west. Okay, what we actually do is we say north is going to be the plus y direction. And we say that south is going to be the minus y direction. Um, east will be the plus x direction. And west will be the minus x direction. In other words, r is going to be equal to 3 north plus 7, well actually, we'll call it 3 uh, y hat plus 5 x hat plus 7 y hat minus 4 x hat because west is in the, the negative x direction minus 2 y hat s is in the minus y direction minus 9 x hat okay so now we just collect terms so we have 5 minus 4 minus 9 the x hat direction and then we have 3 7 minus 2 in the y hat direction so we see that in total uh, we ended up going minus 8 x hat uh, plus let's see uh, 8 y hat uh, or, you know, uh, minus 8 kilometers, 8 kilometers. So this is that exact same vector that we had last time um, that we said looked like this from our drawing. Um, and we see that that makes sense, right? We went 8, uh, eight kilometers in the negative direction and 8 in the positive y direction. So now we see how, by using component form, we can get the exact same answer that we did in graphical form. So now we have both methods and we know how to do it.